Orioles and Yankees. Game one and two in a doubleheader. Cedric Mullins leads off. And Mullins swings it. It's a high fly ball well into right field. Clint Frazier is back. He's at the wall, and it is gone. And well gone at that. About eight rows up, Cedric Mullins, master of the bunt, leads the house. And the Orioles strike first in game one. It's one nothing out of the shoe. Third career leadoff home run for Cedric Mullins, and it was a long one to give the Orioles the lead. For the Orioles, left-hander Keegan Aiken, his fourth game, second start of his major league career. Well, Keegan Aiken was absolutely superb in the game. Five and a third, three hits, no runs, four walks, eight strikeouts, and that is a reason to smile. A good time for DJ Stewart to get his first base hit of the year. Harry swings and hammers one out to right field. Frazier going back. And this ball is gone! First hit, why not make it a homer? And why not make it a homer off of Garrett Cole? Well, we've been saying he has been taking some good swings. Last night he took some good swings. Seemed like he was just on the ball. That gives the Orioles a one to nothing lead. A little bit of a wink for DJ Stewart. Said, I told you I was gonna get one. DJ Stewart. Harry swings and belts one high in the air. You can forget about this one. Hello, Utah Street. He has done it tonight. Two home runs and this one is melted. You talk about a no doubter and a little bat flip from DJ Stewart. For the Orioles, it is 24-year-old right-hander Dean Kramer, six feet, three inches tall, 185 pounds, wearing an orange number 64, a flowing mane of black hair for his major league debut. Dean Kramer strikes out seven Yankees in six innings of one run, one hit baseball. What a major league debut for Dean Kramer. Storybook stuff on a September Sunday. Valdez, uh, it's his time right now. Two down. Rowdy Telez for the bat for the Blue Jays here. That's hit well right field. Santander on the run, can't get there. Are they sending him to the plate? Yes, they are, and he's tagged out, and the Orioles win. They got him at the plate. Wow, these guys are anything but boring, Mike. <laughs> it's never easy. Anthony Santander rushes it back into the infield, but there's nobody around. Lacius comes out of nowhere to make an incredible defensive play. A lot of fun to watch that. How about Cesar Valdez? First win since July 25th, 2017 with Toronto. Yeah, fun stuff.